Does your boyfriend think we're crazy? <laughs> Not crazy, no. But he thought it was good. He had fun. What? He seemed like he would have been pretty comfortable on a camera. Yeah, I mean, I think it would have been, it probably would have been fine. Uh huh. So, next time. Mm hmm. Maybe so, what did he say about your family? I know you had a debrief. Um, he was just like, he liked all of you guys. It's hard for me to talk about it because I really don't remember. I have terrible memory. I have terrible memory. Well, you'd be he, remembering that schoolwork. <laughs> yes, but <laughs> I do have terrible memory. But he liked all of you guys. And he thought you were a very free spirit, funny. He said he's never met anybody like you before. So we had a good time. Yeah, he was nice. So are you nervous about meeting his mom? Um, a little bit, but not really. Oh, so how did we embarrass you at dinner? Oh my God. <laughs> so he came and he brought a bottle of rosé. No. no, he brought a bottle of Moet which is rosé um it was a bottle of rosé and um he brought it for her because he didn't want to show up empty-handed or whatever and whatnot he's probably gonna watch this he didn't want to show up empty-handed which is very nice and very thoughtful and we were drinking it and whenever she tasted it she just was so dramatic and was like uh, and saying how she didn't like it i didn't say that but she was very dramatic and it was very obvious that she didn't like it and it was very over the top and was and then cindy tried it and she did the same thing i guess they maybe forgot that he brought that for the for her it was ridiculous but i felt terrible i felt terrible because y'all were very not um you know but i tried to bring it back yeah she realized it after you realized it after you had done it and tried to clean it up but it, it at that point it was too late like we knew because you can't be go from being all dramatic like that and then be like oh this is good <laughs> like it didn't make sense you just made it more obvious. no it was good it was just like oh that taste just got me even at first and so you know it worked out Oh my gosh. But if he watches this, the the gesture was very nice. It was very cute. Very nice and I appreciate it. And you know, you could have said the food was nasty. He could say the food was nasty. But even if he I thought it was nasty, he wouldn't have said that. Or if something okay, not nasty, or something was spicy. But like, ooh, this is spicy. No, but you said it in a way of like it wasn't good you didn't like it which is okay personal opinion whatever but i feel like in that moment you could have saved that for later i i said it was good after you had been overly dramatic that you didn't no, like it no it was just that bite at first my palate had to get used to it okay it didn't come off like that though. oh oh but no that's good wine that's a good wine that wine cost some coin it was good good yes, i was very mortified in that moment <laughs> but it's fine. It's fine. I'm going to his house tomorrow and I'm bringing cheesecake that I made yesterday. So hopefully they like that. Well, I say the cheesecake is very good. So Bobby made a cheesecake for the house and she made one to take to his house. Today is Sunday? Or today is Saturday? Today is Sunday. Oh, shoot. Today is Sunday. Yeah. So she goes she goes to his house to meet his mom. Tomorrow. So I didn't ask him the typical questions that he was expecting. I mean, no, but you knew a lot about him before, so I um, don't but I knew you wouldn't though. Well, I honestly didn't know what to expect cuz that's the first time you've ever met anybody. Mhm. Mm so I knew you probably wouldn't. But at the same time, I had no idea. Well, now that you mentioned some of those, I was like, oh, those are some good questions. 
I mean, you know, he's in he's in school. Like if he wasn't in school, wasn't in college, it probably would have been a different conversation. So you in college, he's in his fifth year or fourth year. He's a senior. Yeah, so he's a senior about to graduate. So I know what his major is. So I know what path he's going on. What's so his major? Aviation management. Okay, good. So, you know, if he wasn't in school, the conversation would have been different. So what are your plans? What are your life plans? What are your plans with her? You know, so the conversation would have been different. But since I had, you know, a background, because I'm like, okay, so they're not in school. What is their life plan? What, what are their goals? It would have been a different conversation. Yeah. And at the end of the day, I feel as though as long as she's happy and she says that he makes her happy and he's not abusive physically or mentally, then it's whatever she wants. But I would still like for you to like him. But if I didn't, it still wouldn't change a thing. You're still going to be seeing him. So it wouldn't make a difference anyway, whether or not I but like him. I wouldn't... I wasn't even thinking about that because, like, I feel like you wouldn't have, like, not liked him. Like, I, I don't know. <laughs> now I was listening for this. Oh, now nah, the beep. I'm telling you guys, someone mentioned <laughs> the smoke detector. There is no battery up there because I put new batteries and it was still beep. So, and so I took the batteries out and it still beeps. With no battery. It beeps because there's no batteries in it. It was beeping with the battery, brand new. There's probably a different one that needs batteries. I put batteries in all of them. In all of them. And it was still beeping. So I just took them out. See, doesn't it sound like it's coming from over here? Yeah, I don't know. It's weird, y'all. There's no batteries in any of them. I know, that's not the safest thing. I'll get batteries uh, before I go back to school. For all, I'm gonna let y'all watch me put the batteries in. <laughs> and it's still going to beep. So we just got back from dinner. I think it was nice, it was nice, that nice conversation. I'm full. Ooh, Bobby, steak, she got, excuse me. Bobby got steak and shrimp. It her steak so was good. It was so good. That was some good steak. I got salmon Oscar. Mm -hmm. And it's supposed to be salmon stuffed with crab. It Baby. wasn't salmon stuffed with crab. It wasn't that. It was salmon. And it was like a, kind of like a sauce. Kind it was of thing. supposed to be crab. And there was crab, yeah. Yeah, there was no crab. There was crab, I tasted it. Uh, well, I didn't see much crab. It was like a few little flakes they threw on there. Wasn't even generous. I don't think it was worth the money at all. I feel like a lot of like... So salmon, Oscar, absolutely not. I feel like a lot of high-end restaurants are... Sometimes they're just not worth the money. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Like, I don't know. Like, whenever I went to Fogo de Chao, I didn't really like it that much, to be honest. That like, salad bar was good, though. At Fogo de Chao, I didn't have it. Yeah, the salad bar is ooh. You can go just for the salad bar. Yeah. Fogo de Chao is basically like a like super, super high end restaurant. They have it in a lot of places. It's like a Brazilian steakhouse if And they cut don't your meat. Quote me on that. But they like a bunch of like servers like just walk around with different cuts of meat at your table and they bring them to you. Mm -hmm. And it's like it's really, really expensive. Very, very expensive. Sounds like it's beeping over here. Smoke detector is way over there, but the noise is coming from over Maybe here. Maybe it's like carrying or something. I don't know. It's weird. It's I'm... it's just weird. So, yeah. So I think I think mine was even more expensive than yours. It was. Mine was only twenty eight. Yeah, I wish I got yours. I mean, I enjoyed mine, but your steak was actually pretty darn good. I know, and it was kind of a lot of food because you got salad, a side. Salad, a super salad, a side, steak, and shrimp. Mm hmm Yeah. 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 And for $28. Yeah, mine was not worth it. I could have bought a whole thing of salmon for that price. A whole big... You say that after every time we eat. We don't eat out often, but...
but every time we eat the out. The experience was nice, but I feel as though for the price, my meal was not worth $31 for a little piece of salmon. Yeah, I mean, I agree, but. Not for $31. No, baby. I could have hooked us up a salmon right in the oven down. So that's how I feel. Might as well just cook at home. Yeah, but you know, it's nice to eat out sometimes. Yes, it was, it was nice and very grateful and thankful for the gift cards. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that noise is annoying. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm going to get some batteries. But you really can't notice it until we it was brought to our attention again. Because I don't ever hear it, really. Yeah, so it doesn't, I guess we're just used to it, I guess. Yeah. Mm. Sydney got home. Sydney didn't like her soup. So they took the soup back and gave her a salad. And she wasn't hungry because everybody kind of ate a snack shortly before we left, so. I told everybody not to eat. Told everybody not to eat. I enjoyed mine. It was good, but not $31 good. Absolutely not. Yeah, I really, really liked mine. And I, I felt like it was really nice chatting with Clinton. He was engaged and talking and stuff. Everybody, it was nice. It's been a while since we've all been out together years I would say no very yes like very long time mm -hmm. I couldn't even tell you the last time we did something like that mm -hmm. so it's actually very nice to do yeah and again my food was very good so if yes, you ever go to saltgrass get the Gulf Coast shrimp and steak L, and then we saw some drama honey we saw drama oh my gosh yeah there was drama at Saltgrass. Food was that on here. So you want to give the tea? It was really like this guy. This we're on very two different sides of this drama. So basically, so you guys let us know what side of the story or like whose side you would pick. So basically, this is her version. Well, I'm gonna tell the general story and then yeah. tell you what I think. Mm -hmm. So basically. We were sitting at our table, and the table right behind us, it was a larger party. I'd say probably 12 to 14 people, something like that. And so a larger party came in, like, it was a family for Christmas, and you could tell it was, like, many generations of family members. So you had the kids, the parents, the parents of the parents, and the parents of the parents. Like, you had everybody. And so they all came in, and they were all sitting down. And so I'm assuming the dad... He came in, and him and his um, immediate family, like, sat down. Like, him, his son, or daughter, and then his, his wife. Daughter. Him, his daughter, and his wife, they all sat down. And a couple other family members had sat down. And I'm assuming, like, maybe mother-in-law, um, grandma, his mom, just an older member of the family. They were all kind of like standing around like hadn't sat down yet they were trying to like move seats and everything Get organized whatever, whatever whatever but the server was standing there she was trying to you know just do her job like get them started whatever whatever and so the dad was like y'all like just sit down like sit down sit down like we can figure that out in a minute like let her just do her job first then we can rearrange because they were trying to like assign everybody seats based on a, like I don't know and so the dad was just like, y'all, like, sit down, sit down. We can figure that out in a second, like, after she does what she needs to do. And the and grandmother, what did the grandmother, did you see that part? I didn't see this part. Yeah, the grandmother said, hey, guys, hey, guys, listen, this is Kelly. This is Kelly. She was excited. This is Kelly, who Kelly was the server. Oh, I didn't, oh, I didn't hear that part. Mm -hmm. So, whatever, and so... The server ends up doing, they end up sitting down, whatever, and then I guess they were still arguing as time went on. I don't know what the argument was about, but then the dad and his immediate family, like, left. They were like, I don't remember what he said. He was like, we're out, like, we're out, and they left. So and while they were trying to get settled, did you say this party price said to fire? That was like, just sit down. Everybody sit down. Just sit down. S sit down. Okay, and... For y'all, <laughs> for the purpose of the story, he was not that dramatic. Yes, he was. He, yes, he, he was. didn't do everything that you just did. He, he grabbed his face. Just sit down. Sit down. It was not that dramatic. Okay, whatever you say. 
Hold on. Clinton! I'm smelling something. You cooking something? Yeah, the cookies are in the oven. I told him to check them. Hold on. So I'm gonna get my version, and you can come when you come back and give yours. No, but I'm gonna give your version. No, she don't need to hear my version. So my point is, they got up and left, and and then I think the grandmother, one of the the older women, she was like, "Well, it wouldn't be Christmas if that didn't happen." So everybody was in a good mood. I think the guy had an attitude when he got there. Everybody was in a jolly spirit. The grandparents were excited. They probably don't get together that often. And they were just excited. He came with that nasty attitude. Okay, everybody's trying to figure out what they're gonna, what's, what's the big, you calm down, sir. Why is it a big deal? There's some, I feel like there's some people that make a big deal out of nothing. So even if he just sat there and talked to his wife, why they all worked it out, let him work it out. Is he hurting you? So I'm just saying, you want to rob everybody else of their joy with your nasty attitude, goodbye, because nobody want to deal with your nasty attitude anyway. I don't even think his wife, so I'm thinking that the family was the guy's family. And you know, the, the wife marries into the family. And they just picked up their child and they, and they walked out. You don't think that's a bit dramatic for going out for a Christmas dinner? I think, I think he was the one that was extra. Don't you know you have some people who are in a crowd and they just, they just extra bringing that energy with them. His energy was negative when he sat down. Cause he was like, just sit down, sit down. Let her do her job, sit down. They were trying to get it and then they were excited. Hey, this is Kelly, this is Kelly. So just because everybody's not behaving the way you want them to behave, so you got an attitude, but everybody else were pretty jolly. That's how I looked at it. And so he made the choice to get up and leave, goodbye. And after they left, I kid you not, you know, they weren't talking about him. They were laughing and enjoying each other's company. Mm-hmm. Laugh, even the kid, the little, um, I think it was probably like 12, 11, 12, 13, laughing, having conversations. Everybody was having a good time. But that negative energy, gone. Gone. The dark cloud, gone. You go right on out the door because we don't need that energy here. And that's how I felt. Bobby didn't see it that way. Let's see what she says when she gets back. Mm -hmm. Exit the stage, please. We're staying. And when this darkness leaves our presence, we're still going to be smiling and having a good time because we refuse to let your energy ruin our Christmas. Happy holidays to you. Going back home with your crew. Don't turn back because we don't need you. Nor that dark cloud that's hovering around. We don't need that in our town. So go on out the door, you little clown. Because we're going to have a great time. Even when you're not around. <laughs> See, y'all know I had those bars, right? <laughs> those bars. <laughs> Period. So what did you say? No, so what did your take on it? I gave my take and some. Um, I had basically said that whenever the dad was like, he was just asking everybody to sit down. I can kind of agree with him a little bit. It's like, Y'all are all, like, just sit down for one second to let the lady do her job. The restaurant was packed, so let her do her thing so she could go, and then we could get up and arrange and move and do what we need to do and keep pushing it. I'm not, I'm, I believe it had to be, like, something else must have progressed for him to be, like, oh, we're leaving. Like, we're leaving. Something else had to have been said that we didn't hear. And that's why he left. He didn't leave because they weren't sitting down or anything. But I had just thought, like, in that moment when the server was just standing there, like, trying to do her thing, like, it's like, y'all just sit down so, like, she can go do her job. And then we can move. And like you said, the lady was like, y'all, like, this is Kelly. And, like, as a server, like, I used to be a server. But it's like, as the server, like, the the customer is like interacting with you and like oh like like she couldn't just walk away in that moment like she had to stay you know because it was like the grandma or whoever was trying to introduce her and like being so you're just not gonna walk away like 
I just think everybody could have sat down so she could have done her thing. Because you could tell she was busy, like, you know, let's get it pushing. But something else, the conversation right. had to have progressed for her to leave. As I said, leave. he came in there with a nasty attitude. Uh, he came in with that dark cloud. And when him and his family left, they were still, the, the rest of the, 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 the patrons, they were ex happy, smiling, laughing, talking, even the younger kids. Everybody's energy was still up. It's the holidays. And once that dark cloud walked up out of there, the energy shifted. And he came in with that bad energy. That's why he left over people not sitting down fast enough for him. Goodbye. Okay, we take it up. We we we're having a good time. What what we in a rush for? Is but, there a rush? Like this, something else must have been right. at the table. So he for came him to in left. that way is what I'm saying. And then no way he left because of what they said to say. Like something yeah, else was said. Like something else was said or something else happened. And that's what just pushed him over the edge and he was like, We're just gonna yeah. leave. Goodbye. I felt like things went very nicely once he left because the lady said it wouldn't be Christmas without, you know something going down and they talked about it a little before we left because another person came back they was like oh no he left and it wouldn't be christmas without it because i guess he always blows up or something that's how i kind of took it or something that goes on holiday time but they weren't shocked by his exit goodbye you and your negative energy get out of here take the dark cloud with you go rain on somebody else's parade and I'm quite sure you gave your wife attitude when you got home, too. <laughs> but just goes to show you want to, like, we don't know the full story what happened. So, I don't know. But we get to just, everybody else was happy. He wasn't. I was just saying that they could have sat down. That's the only part where I was like, they could have... So that would have made you irritated? I mean, it wouldn't have irritated me, but I just understood what he was saying. Like, she is trying to do her job, and she has a million other things to do. It's like, y'all, like, let's just sit down so she can, you know... Because you could tell the server didn't look impatient, but looked impatient. They were getting there. It was, it was a big group. They were getting there. Give me a minute. Just like when... But I think that was something that could have been done later. They was doing too much. Not me. They were excited. The grandparents were excited. Everybody was in good spirits. And you and sometimes you always have that one person who wants to ruin ruin the whole pot with your attitude. And that's what it was. Sit down. Everybody just sit down. Okay, we're getting there. You calm down. That's all but you calm down. We're getting there. Hold on. We're having a good time, laughing. Everybody's in good spirits. So you want to ruin it? That's how you just Sit down, sit down. Oh, I, I am. Just like when we go somewhere, hurry up, hurry up, we got time. I'm getting ready. I, I'm, 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 I'm working on it. And then the person who's saying, hurry up, hurry up, the time, time. You, the person saying that is getting it. Um, an attitude, becoming anxious and ugh, frustrated. It shifts energy. That's how I look at it. It's an energy shifter. Everybody's having a good time. Now you want to come. Oh, oh, oh. That's why they got up and left. But he wasn't that dramatic when he was saying it. But he got up and left. Because so something there. else. That wasn't, that was not why he left. There's no way that's why he left. He had an attitude when he came in. But something else had to be said for him to be, for him to have left. Possibly, but it didn't shift the energy. But when he left, it did shift the energy. Everybody was still happy. Nobody had an attitude. They didn't even, well, I, what we heard, they didn't even um, keep talking about it. They kept it pushing. A little later before we left, they started talking about it again. It was like, mm, he just got up and left. He got up and left and blah, blah, blah. Did you hear anything else they said? Mm -mm. I guess there's always going to be some family drama. Trying to please everybody's, everybody's personality and this and that. And that stuff, I, I can't. It's too much for my spirit. What are your thoughts on it from the little bits and pieces? All right, guys, give this video a thumbs up. Leave your point of view in the comment section below. Let us know what you think, okay? And I will keep you updated on Bobby meeting her mother. I mean, her. I mean, whoa, whoa, whoa.
Whoa, you move a little faster. Yeah. You move a little faster. <laughs> but um, they said that she's excited to meet Bobby. She's excited to meet you, huh? Mm -hmm. I told I told her I was gonna go. She's gonna come with me. Mm-hmm. I want to be a fly on the wall for that one. What do you mean? See what how it goes. I'll let you know how it goes. And he was pranking you with the dance, and you didn't even want to prank him. <laughs> he kept that going for a very right. long so time. Right. So you should have got him back. He's but no, no. Next time. Doesn't hit the same. I don't even know what we would have done. You were just trying to make your clucking sounds. No, I wanted to do the fight with Sydney. I wasn't going to do that. I wanted to do the fight with Sydney. And then he was like, no, don't do that. Don't do that. I said, the Pledge of Allegiance. No, no, don't do that. Don't do that. And again, for the camera, I was not that dramatic. You oh, like they saw it in the camera. <laughs> they saw it. <laughs> Run into the drunk. You jump up and down. Did she not? I'm a... You said, Mom, please. Mom, Mom please. Oh, I'm gonna put it right here. You jumped up and out. Shall we I do a replay? Just, I <laughs> was just stressed out. I was just stressed out. I was just stressed. But, but it's done now. It's overall, done. It, went, it went really well. Did All right, you? guys. <laughs> Give this video a thumbs up or not, but I appreciate it if you do. And if you are still here, thank you for taking the time to hang out with us and my crazy family and us agreeing to disagree. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, hit the little bell, so you know the next time I upload a random video. <laughs> Alright, until next time.